Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Christmas gift guide which is really exciting. I've been thinking long and hard for a few weeks about all the things I wanted to recommend to you today. So all these things are mostly for her, things that I've bought for myself or my own friends and family. Look at it kind of like a 2021 favourites video, all the products I really think are worth the money or they could give you some ideas and inspiration. So do watch to the end, we're going to be doing a variety of products including beauty, travel, home and like lifestyle-y food and drink bits too. So I think I have about five products in each category to run through with you. Let me know what you think in the comments below and if you haven't subscribed already please do click that button and give this video a thumbs up, I would love to have you around. So before we get into all the like producty things I'm going to show you. This video is actually very kindly sponsored by Cineworld and a lot of you know we love cinema. We love going to Cineworld, we are unlimited members and going to the cinema is such a joyful thing for me. I love the escapism, I love the date nights we have, I love going to see new movies first and talking about them amongst my friends and I could talk to you all day about unlimited cards but today I wanted to highlight that Cineworld actually have some amazing offers for gift cards Cards. And I think giving the gift of an experience to someone is a really nice thing, especially if you really don't know what to buy them. Benji's dad I always really struggle with because he's kind of a man that has everything, although he's grateful for anything we give him. I feel like he would really love a Cineworld gift card to go and see some new films that are coming out next year. There are just so many options for stuff that's coming out, I'm really excited. But Cineworld actually have some really lovely stands, so if you pop by your local, local Cineworld you can actually see these fireplace sort of setups and they have all the different gift card options, they're really cute. So make sure you swing by. Cineworld have offers for uh, gift cards, so if you spend £25 you get an extra £5 gift card for free, which is a win-win situation because you can either gift that to someone else as well or you can use it for yourself, why not? Cineworld also have a Christmas gift box for two, which includes two tickets and two drinks and a popcorn to share, which is a perfect date night gift if you're looking for something to give to your partner or your best friend and maybe you can go and do that together. I know that my best friend Megan and I, we much prefer to do um, experiences, meals and cinema is something we would both really love to do together so I think she'd love something like that and then everything's covered including a drink so I think that's a really nice option. Or if you want to be someone's very favourite this year then Cineworld also have the ultimate gift box which is 12 months worth of free cinema. So all different options at different price points there. They also have e-gift cards, which are perfect for anyone that's shopping last minute. Um, so loads of options. I just think you can't go wrong. Everyone loves the cinema. Everyone's gonna find something to see um, over the next year. There's loads of options, isn't there? Films coming out. I know that Benj and I are really excited about lots of different titles and blockbusters. And Cineworld is just an amazing place. Like we recently actually went to Leicester Square. We tried 4DX out for the first time for Benj and it was just such an amazing experience so really really recommend Cineworld and big thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. I'll have the links below for you so you can go and check them out and find out a little bit more but let me know what films you're going to see or what ones you want to see with family and friends next year. We have just booked Spider-Man No Way Home so as I'm sure you can imagine we're very excited about that um, and I still need to go and see the new Enchanto, the Disney film. We've got House of Gucci I want to see so yeah loads of options. I'm very excited so anyway without further ado let's go into beauty categories first. So first up in beauty I want to talk about space masks. I just recently purchased two more boxes of these, um, some for myself but also I'm considering actually opening a box and gifting some of my friends you'll see what I've done for them. I've bought some little makeup pouches that I'm thinking of filling with bits. Uh, and one of them I thought would be nice is that they could all get a space mask each. And if you don't know what these are, they are self-heating eye masks. They're amazing for so many reasons. If you struggle with sleep, they're good for travel. They're good if you ever suffer with any headaches or migraines. They're really thin. They're nice and light and easy to sleep in. And I just love the fact they heat up. So they come in these tiny little pouches. It's 15 pound for a box but like I said £15 for the box of five but then you could split them up and put these amongst the gifts that you give to other people so I think that's what I'm going to do but yeah you just open up the pouch and then within a few seconds minute ish um, it warms up and it's so good. So I really wanted to share space masks because I love them loads for myself but I'm going to be giving them to my friends this year because 
I feel like everyone will enjoy those. My next beauty product is one that I really fell in love with this year, so much so I actually made a reel on Instagram about these, but they are Face Halo Makeup Remover Cloths. I have tried a variety of different ones, including cheaper Primark ones, cheaper ones that you can get on Amazon. They all do very similar things, like the same job essentially, but I do think the Face Halo, the specific branded ones, are the best and they are worth the money. And actually, if you do buy them in a pack for somebody, I think they're about 15 to 20 pounds-ish. I'll put the details on screen in the link below. Um, they come in a really nice pack. They're really good. You just put them under water and you can remove the majority of your makeup before you then go in with your cleanser. And I actually normally use one side for one night and then I use the other side the next night and then I'll wash it. But they are a game changer and I've washed these over and over and even full of black and orange, they still come out really white. So I had to suggest those because I just think they're one of those products that if you know someone who does wear makeup, um, maybe they're still using makeup wipes or anything like that, then these are really good, more sustainable, reusable option and I think they're fantastic. The next beauty product is one I've actually bought for my friend Charlotte and for her birthday and a couple of my girlfriends, I bought them the Glossier Lip Balm in birthday cake or birthdaybalm.com I think it is. She loved it and she uh, mentioned to me that they had a new scent out recently. It's called the Cookie Butter and I actually bought one for her and one for myself. So let me get mine. I love that Glossier comes in these little pouches. So I am actually, I just wanted to show you the packaging, but this is just such a nice little gift for somebody. If you're not looking to spend an awful lot of money on someone, this is a really nice product. You can just pop it in the little pouch and then that's a really nice gift. And obviously it's gone down well, my friend friends if I'm repurchasing another scent for them um but yeah the cookie cookie butter it looks like this it's just a really great lip balm I know lip balms they are what they are but these smell amazing they make my lips feel really soft and I just thought I'd show you because it is something I've bought from one of my friends so Glossier lip balm win 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 love these I really love the birthday cake one but the cookie butter is also good next beauty product is a little bit more expensive but one that is good if you're looking to buy for your girlfriend or your sister and it's a Real Techniques gift set I was kindly gifted this from Superdrug recently but I really wanted to show it because this gift set is usually £60 but it's currently on offer for £40 I think it's still on offer and it comes with a nice variety of makeup brushes you've got a sponge you've got a um cloth there as well i always feel like i need or want more brushes and real techniques ones last ages and normally they're like 10 pound each if you buy them individually plus then once you take all this packaging out you've got a nice little makeup slash wash bag um, for somebody to use so this is a product that i would have absolutely loved under the tree um, for myself and when i got this they gifted me lots of lovely gifts let me just say and this one stood out to me i was really excited about this so i thought i'd share it because i think it's brilliant and then the last thing I was gonna show you actually crosses over with my travel section, but I've bought my girlfriends some pouches. As you can see, they've all got the tags on. These are from a brand called Katie Loxton, who I love. I would love to work with them. I think they're fantastic. I've bought loads of their products before, and I actually found these in my local garden center and thought they'd be really lovely gifts. So not only do they make nice sort of makeup bags or pouches or sort of your daily essentials, but I do also have ones that are more specific to travel so this one actually says jet set go on the front i don't know if you can see with the lights so you could put uh your passport and documents in there um and this one says wonderful friend i thought that i could gift my girlfriends one of these maybe pop a face mask in obviously my friend charlotte will get the lip balm in there and then that's just a really lovely gift for one of your girlfriends. I think it is anyway. I'd be so chuffed with just this pouch on its own, but I just wanted to suggest the Katie Loxton pouches because they're really nice quality and um, I have them for myself too and I just think they're really nice. So I got a mixture of black and gold for the girls. So that's all the beauty stuff. It goes without saying that I obviously work with lots of other amazing brand partners other than Cineworld. We've got Tangle Teaser for hairbrushes. Wild Deodorant is such a great gift and I work with Fragrance Direct. So obviously the gift of a fragrance or a perfume or an aftershave for Benj, I just got him one. Then all of those would be really good gifts ideas as well. But obviously I could be here all day if I talked to you about everyone. Um, but I just wanted to sort of highlight those in particular. So let's move on to 
home. There were so many things I could have shared in the home section, but the first product that I really wanted to highlight is my 2022 planner slash diary. Uh, this is actually personalized and I bought this from a company called Martha Brook. They have kindly gifted me things in the past, but I did buy this myself and they do the most amazing personalized stationery. For my friends last year, I bought a couple of them personalized notebooks that had their names on. Um, I just think a notebook, a planner, you know, stationery is something that we all use most of us use anyway. I mean, I do, I love stationery. I think it's an amazing gift. Um, and this in particular is a really lovely planner. So I won't go through it in too much detail, but I just thought I'd show you what it looks like inside and how nice it is with the ring bind so you can like fold it and have it flat. The pages are nice. It's just a really good design. Um, but just in particular, I wanted to share Martha Brook as a company. They're a small business run by a lot of women and they're all really lovely. Their Instagram is all pink and their branding's beautiful and they're just a fantastic company. So I have a lot of love for them. Um, I wanted to highlight potentially notebooks, stationery, diaries, planners, you get the gist, go check them out. The next home thing is actually a book and I'm not a massive reader. I've not read a lot of books this year, but the one that I did finish and absolutely loved is um, Vex King, Good Vibes, Good Life. I actually bought my friend Megan this, I think for her birthday or for Christmas, I can't remember, but it's a really great book. And even if you are not a big reader, this is, it's a self-help book, but it's one that just changed my mind and opinion and perspective on so many things. It covers a variety of topics, including, uh, let me just see, like friendships, relationships, um, manifesting goals, accepting yourself, lots and lots of mental well-being tips and advice. I just think it's a fantastic book. So really recommend it. And if somebody you know has already read this one then Vex King actually has a newer version out that I haven't read yet but it's called Healing is the New High so I just think these are just fantastic little books they're not too expensive they're a nice size um, and at Christmas time a lot of people have downtime to do some reading so I thought I would suggest those to you I couldn't have a home section without suggesting a game and a lot of you know that I'm a brand ambassador for Big Potato Games and I do actually have a little discount code which I will leave below for you but I just wanted to suggest two different ones. First up, Herd Mentality. This is for age 10 plus from four to 20 players and you have to answer really silly questions and think like the herd. So for example, what's the most difficult fruit to juggle? Somebody might put banana or pineapple, but you have to try and think what everyone else is gonna write. And then you go around and share your answers. It's hilarious. This is the game I played with my nanny last year. Some of you may remember that vlog. Um, and there's like a pink cow that you don't want to get um, if you don't think like the herd. It's That's just a really quick summary and brief overview of it, but it's a really great game. And I just think games at Christmas, everyone wants to play games, don't they? Everyone. This is a very universal, family friendly, easy to play, quick to learn game. So I wanted to recommend Herd Mentality, but also the other day, Benj and I played Nice Buns, and this is good because it's from two to six players. So I have always been on the hunt for two player games that Benj and I can play just together, or that we can play when like our couple friends come over Again, it's age 10 plus and Nice Buns is a game where you roll dice and the dice sort of dictate the rest of the gameplay and you have to collect little um, bow bun pieces on your tray. Um, it's very clever. It's really easy to play and quick to learn again. And also we'll just say Big Potato have tutorials on their YouTube channel on how to play all their games. So really, really loved this. And it was like a nice new game. I've tried and played a lot of Big Potato games, guys. And this one really stood out to me as one of their newer ones that I was like, have to recommend, really like it. So they're my games. <laughs> The next thing in home I was gonna recommend is a reed diffuser or a candle. I think you all know what candle and reed diffusers look like, but I picked up this one the other day in Audi. I love their hotel collection one. This is number four and it's like a pear fragrance. It's really nice. Um, and this is a really nice gift. Everyone uses these. You pop them in your bathroom or the kitchen or the lounge, wherever, and obviously it just, does its own thing. You don't have to worry about lighting candles and stuff. So I do like a reed diffuser and you can get fairly cheap ones from Audi in these collections. But also I bought this one from a garden center recently. Loved it so much. I bought it again on Amazon. So I will link it. I don't know what brand this is, but it very much reminds me of a Jo Malone fragrance. Um, it's a jasmine and 
Oudwood, is that how you say it? Um, but this is what it looks like. And I just think actually it looks really nice on display as well. My friend Gary was with me in the garden center and he bought one as well, so. I thought I'd recommend it to you because it's really, really good. The last thing in the home section I wanted to suggest are Tilly Anna bags. Tilly Anna is a really lovely bag company. They are a small business that I have just fallen in love with over the last two years. I own three of their bags. I just grabbed two to show you. One black, one navy. I also have a beige one. But they sell these really lovely bags that you can personalise. So as you can see, this one is for Bonnie and we keep Bonnie's things in here or we put her food, toys, blankets, whatever when she goes and stays with my mum, this is her Bonnie bag, we call it. Um, it's a really lovely quality and they just last really well. So this is the kind of gift that's perfect if you really don't want to buy someone. Everybody needs tote bags and things, especially for you know, food shopping, um, if you go on any adventures, a picnic, that kind of thing love them so much um, and then this is just another one I had that I was going to show you so you can get them fairly plain if you don't want a name on they have loads of different designs I think my mum actually has a couple now as well really lovely bags that they sell they actually have a variety of products so again it's one of those companies that you should go and check out because they have some great things. I also just wanted to add in a little bonus gift as well that didn't really fit in beauty or home. It's it's jewellery basically. Um, I love a brand called Joma Jewellery. I think they're fantastic. Again, like Katie Loxton, I buy their products. Sometimes they sell them in the same shop. Um, but I actually have a uh, Joma Jewellery bracelet on my wrist at all times. This little one here, it's got a little paw print on it to represent Bonnie. Um, but I bought my girlfriends a couple of these. So this is a little Christmas craft. I actually bought this in the sale so they probably have newer versions now for this season but look how lovely this is as a gift comes in a little cracker um, and it just says live love sparkle it's a gold plated bracelet and then I also bought this one which comes in a little gift box but they do a lot of uh, bracelets that come on these really nice cards and if you're ever looking for presents for people they do like bridesmaids gifts um, and they do all different designs and words on them like a little bit of sparkle um my my best friend uh anniversaries and all that kind of stuff so this one is obviously a christmas one i'm going to keep it in the packaging but hopefully you can see it's a little silver star and it says a little with love this christmas and i just thought it was so nice so that's going to be a gift for one of the girls like so um yeah lovely products moving on to a couple of travel products i've literally just traveled to mallorca had an amazing time and whilst i was out there there were a few products i thought were just brilliant so if you know anyone that's traveling again or going on holiday next year or you have somebody in your life that just loves travel like me i wanted to suggest a couple of things first one is an apple air tag i think this is a really really good gift for somebody in fact this is a very good universal gift for a lot of people i bought the little um pink silicon holder on amazon but the apple air tag i think a lot of you know what it is you connect it to your um, phone find my friends if you have an apple device obviously it's acts as sort of a little tag to tell you where your things are and i love this so much i put it in my suitcase and i could track where my luggage was but also one of the guys on the trip that I've been on had one in his camera bag and he was able to locate his camera and his camera bag because he had an air tag in it. So I'm going to get a couple of these now, put them in the bottom of bags if I'm out traveling. I just think they're so good and just give you that little peace of mind for if you feel like, you know, you've misplaced your things, you could add that onto your keys. Everyone loses keys, don't they? Um, it's just a really, really amazing gift. It comes in a nice little box. I feel like everyone would appreciate it. And it's only £29, which I think is a really good price. So again, the link will be below. I bought mine on Amazon. You can buy it also from Apple, but... Um, I think it's great. I love an air tag. So genius. The other brand I wanted to talk to you about is called 195. I discovered this company recently and as you can see I love them. I own a few of their pouches and the laptop sleeve and they do really beautiful really high quality definitely on the higher end price wise but 
fantastic pouches and makeup and wash bags. So I wanted to show you two. This one is their little like um, essentials pouch and it's got loads of little pockets so you can put loads of bits and bobs in. You can put a pen, your headphones, leads, portable phone charger or you could use it as a beauty pouch as well which I really like doing. But what I really, really loved was their wash bag. This is definitely, like I said, expensive. I think it's about £49. It's definitely one of the best wash bags I've ever had. It has this little clear pouch that comes out like so. So you can use that going through the airport if you wish. It's got nice little pockets on the back. This just magnetics back like that. Oh, is that? there we go. And then in the bottom here, there is so much in here. I just, I kept it like this. I haven't even unpacked um, to show you just how good it is. I've got so many products in there. I can't even tell you. The feel of the material of the actual bag is nice as well. It cleans easily. Just a really brilliant company. Would recommend if you're looking for a nice gift to give to somebody. The next product I was kindly gifted, but I have been raving about this on my Instagram. Just under 40 pounds, and it is by far the best hand luggage bag I have discovered in a long time. I really love the Cabin Max and Travel Hack collaboration. Monica writes a travel blog called The Travel Hack, and she has collaborated with them for a collection of travel accessories and bags. She has the little suitcase some of you might have seen me with before, and the rucksack and now they have this tote bag and this is just amazing so it has loads of features to it i could be here all day and do like a full review for you if you want to see me pack it go and watch my pack with me video but there are pouches in the front inside there's a water bottle holder there's a laptop sleeve there's little zip pockets it's just brilliant it's even got a sleeve to go through your suitcase handle little pouch at the back for your passport and your phone Honestly, it's brilliant and it fit under the seat in front of me on EasyJet and I tried it both there and back from Mallorca and I had no problems. I will leave a link for you. It's available on Amazon. I love it. It's got a nice long handle if you carry a lot of stuff, but the bigger handles, they fit on your shoulder. So I just had to recommend you the best travel hand luggage bag. Apart from like taking a mini suitcase, I think this will forever be my hand luggage i love it before we wrap up i just had a couple of food and drink things i was going to show you i shared this in a tk max home sense shop with me was it home sense i think um but i bought this joe and seth's popcorn gift set i think this is a really nice gift i don't know if you can get these online from joe and seth's but they make amazing popcorn um really lovely high quality loads of different flavors and like everyone loves popcorn and you can take this to the cinema with your cine world gift card okay Okay, so they actually do sell Joan Seth's in Cineworld. Um, so if you haven't tried it before, pick up a bag when you're in there. Well, they, they do in my Cineworld anyway. Um, I've seen the salted caramel before, but as you can see, this is obviously a gift set of popcorn. I just thought I'd share it. I can either give this whole gift set to somebody or I can take each individual um, popcorn out and add it as an additional gift to um, some of the other gifts that I've got for my friends and family. So I had to show you that one. A bottle of alcohol always goes down well, doesn't it? Uh, we always are grateful for wine or um i love an mns gibbo asti it's my favorite asti ever and it's only seven pound don't have a bottle to hand but definitely keep an eye out for it it's normally on the bottom shelf in mns but for some of our friends this year uh we bought a really lovely bottle of um toffee vodka we like two different brands but if i can find a link to this one i will link it for you i don't really want to open it uh, let's see if i can oh i can i can i love the fact this comes in a nice gift box but look at the bottle we know that our friends are going to really like this and appreciate this it's just a really nice little gift we actually bought this at a foodies festival in the summer we saw it and knew that our friends would really like that so yeah i just thought i would suggest that because sometimes i really struggle to buy for like my couple friends um if we're buying them maybe you could buy them a game and then a bottle of vodka i think that's a really nice gift for one of benji's family members i am doing a little mini food hamper as you can see i've got a couple of mugs and a couple of teas in there you could obviously put some biscuits or jams chutneys cheeses food hampers are just a really good gift idea if you don't know what to buy someone and especially for like auntie and uncles we normally do it for benji's family extended family if you don't know what to buy 
for the individual people but you want to give something to that family then I think a little um, hamper is a really nice idea they sell little things like this in home bargains B&M the range really inexpensive bit of tissue and then you can obviously um, tailor it to whatever they like I always usually go to M&S and I'll buy some like nice fancy biscuits or like biscuit brew tea if I know they love that from Yorkshire tea is one of my favorites um so yeah I just thought I'd show you the start of this um and how it's looking maybe I'll put the mugs in like that and just display it nicely but yeah I thought that was a really nice gift so that is everything that I am gifting this year or I think are really lovely gift ideas please let me know what you think is there anything in here that you're like yes I need to buy that for myself or my friends let me know and do check out Cineworld and give the gift of a Cineworld gift card this year because I think they're fantastic so again the links will be below for you with more information thank you to them for sponsoring thanks guys for watching and I'll see you again in the next video bye